Good evening folks, welcome back to Celtic Fans TV. It's time for the starting 11 prediction for Thursday's trip to Latvia to face Riga in the Europa League qualifier. If you are watching this video thinking, who are Riga? I don't know anything about them. We've got a video for that as well. Um, I spoke to Yanis from Latvian Football News on Twitter. You can catch that video, I'll link it up uh, in the description and at the end of the video. Um, so you can see what Riga are all about, see what to expect for them, who the danger men are. Um, before we get started on the team for Thursday, this video is sponsored by OneFootball, the best free football app on the planet. You can select Celtic as your favourite team, you can get lineup notifications as soon as the team is announced on game day. That means you can see how many I've got the starting 11 prediction wrong by, and if Neil Lennon keeps his recent form up, that will be at least 5 or 6, it's getting more and more every week. Um, you can see the league table, stats, top goal scorers, who's got the most assists, yellow cards, red cards, all Celtic related news, transfer rumours, which is obviously busy at this time of year. We've got a lovely section for transfer done deals as well. You can also add the widget to your home screen, so if you just slide while your screen's locked, um, it'll show you Celtic's next fixture in the kickoff time. And you can watch selected Champions League and Europa League qualifiers for free on the app. You can download it by clicking the link in the description of this video. A lot of you have downloaded it already and you seem to be really enjoying it, so um, click the link in the description, get involved and let me know what you think of it. Looking ahead to Thursday then, off the back of Saturday's win over Livingston. Again, not vintage Celtic, not the best performance that we've ever seen. A wee bit slack at the start and at the end. But other than that, I thought we had some pretty good spells in the game. Um, we know we're not in top gear at the moment, we are going to get better. And it turned out to be a good weekend for us after Rangers dropped points at Easter Road. So, we will get better. Um, it's good that we're grinding out wins even though we're not playing well. Um, that bodes well as we go into the season. And as I say, we should find um, a higher gear. Third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, top gear, whatever it is. Um, because it does look like we're in second or third gear at the moment. This will be tough. I think we shouldn't underestimate Riga and you'll see if you watch the preview video why. Um, they did beat Copenhagen in their home stadium last year. Okay, there's no fans, so there's there's no atmosphere there this time around, but it is a one-legged tie. It's one-off. We can't make any mistakes. Um, and in Riga's short European history, I don't think they've been beat at home in Europe. So we've got to be on guard. We've got to bring a high-level performance. Um, and be professional and, and get through to the next round. Uh, to the team, it's going to be Barkas in goals. I think we're going to go a back four instead of a back three on Thursday. Um, as I say, it's so difficult predicting the team right now. People tell me every week in the comments, it's so easy predicting. The, why do you predict the team that Neil Lennon's going to pick? Why do you not just say the team that you would pick? So easy predicting Neil Lennon's team. Is it I? Because um, I've been a mile at, and I think everybody's been a mile at the past few weeks. So I think we'll go a back four. I'm just not sure if he's ready to play a three um, in Europe, particularly if it's going to be a tricky tie that we shouldn't underestimate. Um, given Julian's fitness, I'm just not sure he'll play with a three. So I'm going to say Fring Pong right back, centre half pair in the Duffy and Ayer, and Taylor at left back. There's still a little bit of relationships getting developed there. Um, the quicker Julian can get back fit, um, I'm just not sure if he's going to be fit or not, Julian. Um, it would be good to see him and Duffy get as much game time together as possible. And as I say, if he is fit, Neil Lennon might go with three, who knows. Um, be good to get another 90 minutes for Duffy, he'll learn as he goes. I think Ayer obviously gave away the penalty on Saturday, let the boy in behind him. Um, a wee bit lax with the defending, Scott Brown's a bit dodgy in the middle of the park and then the ball's in behind Ayer and he makes a mistake with a handball. Um, I just think, as I said, I think the whole team needs to be better defensively. I think we've got to have more intensity and more aggression when we're defending. Um, I think that will come. I hope it will come because we're not starting games well and I think we're getting caught out because we're not being maybe aggressive enough when we're defending without the ball. Um, Left-back Greg Taylor, better. I thought he was better on, on Saturday. I know a lot of people have just written him off. Um, he's the only left-back we've got available at the moment and I thought Saturday was better than he's been recently. Um, but he's the only left-sided player that we've got in that area. So he'll play in the midfield. Scott Brown and Callum McGregor. Um, I thought Scott Brown again, he doesn't look himself at the minute. He doesn't look in top form. As I say, for the first goal, um, he gets caught out a little bit. just in two minds and he lunges for the ball and he misses it and the ball goes in behind Ayer. Um, and then the second goal as well. He's, he's just in two minds and he's, he rushes out to the to the ball and then Serrano's got a free shot for, for the edge of the box. Um, poor from him, but I fully expect him to start. Callum McGregor will play alongside him. He was excellent on Saturday. Playing a slightly different role, a wee bit fuller up the pitch. Fantastic. I thought we went behind 
he was pivotal and up in the tempo, dictating the play, um, and he really turned the game for us in that two, three minute spell after we lost the goal. In front of them, I'm going to go with Olivier and Cham to keep his place. We've seen Cham and Christie start at the weekend. Um, again, as we went back to a more familiar, maybe 4 2 3 1 shape rather than 3 5 2. Um, I know Christie was playing up next to a yet eight times and it was a bit of a fluid shape. But I think Cham will keep his position in the midfield. He was good on Saturday again. Um, a pivotal role in the third goal where he, he carried the ball at the pitch, played into Christie, and Christie released a Yeti for that brilliant finish. Um, I think Cham will play in there. I think Ryan Christie will play off of the right-hand side. Um, again, I'm just unsure about Elliot Nussi's place in the team just now. Um, he's not been starting recently, and I just think Neil Lennon likes Christie. Christie was good at the weekend. He got a goal. He got an assist. Um, it was one of his better performances in recent months. So I think he'll keep his place. He'll play on the right-hand side. I think James Forrest will play from the left-hand side. Um, like it or not, whether he's good in that position or whether he's, he's limited by it, I think that's where he'll play. But, as I say, would they, I know, because I'm just here guessing a team that nobody can predict. Um, I think James Forrest might play for the left. And up front, I would expect Odson Edward to come back and, and start. It was strange that he missed out at the weekend. I don't think there's any getting away for that. OK, he said he was tired. And we'll take the manager at his word for that. Um, but it just seems a little bit strange to me. Um, 21 years old. We know he did niggle. And he missed Fernand Faros and Mullerwell before the break. He then played 20 minutes for France and then 70 minutes for France. He came back and he played 70 minutes against Ross County and then about 80 minutes against St Mirren. So he's 21 year old. He's not played 90 minutes for the best part of a month and he was too tired to play any part on, on Saturday. But listen, it was good to rest him and hopefully he is back now. We're going to need him in this run of games up until the next international break. Um, and aye, we're just a better team with him. We're just a better team with him on the park. I was very, very happy with Yeti on Saturday. As I said in the Twitter reaction um, and the full-time reaction, I just he's, he's impressed me so far. He, he looks like a brilliant finisher, and I want to see him more. I want to see him develop that partnership with Edward. But as I said at the start of the video, I just don't think Neil Lennon will go with a three-five-two. But who knows what Neil Lennon will do um, in recent weeks? So I think it will be that four-two-three-one sort of shape. We might, maybe can move. Um, maybe we get the personnel. If El Ahmed does end up playing it right back, we get the personnel. Maybe slide into a three. Um, but I think we'll go 4 2 3 1. So that's the team that I think Neil Lennon will go with on Thursday. Like the video, comment with your own thoughts below. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and we'll be back after the game on Thursday with live full time reaction. Thank you.